Hi guys, my name is Ayla and thank you for watching today. So I've been making some videos about the herbs and supplements that I've been using whilst following the Anthony Williams medical medium protocol and cleanse. And the reason that I've, I'm doing it is basically to fight my, my own ailments of chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia and all the other things that I have wrong with me at the moment. And so from my last video I was talking a lot about nettles and the reason why I use them and that's for the iron content as well as it being very cleansing, but for myself, my iron can get really low. And so I try and boost it as much as possibly naturally. Now to get as much iron from that, you need to have a really good high quality vitamin C as well. And the vitamin C helps work with the iron in your body so that you absorb it as much as possible because you don't want to be wasting all your iron. And especially if you're getting it through supplements, you don't want to be paying money and then it's just getting flushed right out of your body again. So the good vitamin C that I have actually been using is called Kakadu Plum. Now it kind of looks um, a lot like gold flakes because it's freeze dried. The ones that I use is freeze dried. Now the Kakadu Plum is actually grown naturally up here in the tropics of Australia in the top end. And they, they are a wonder plum. They, they're about this size and they are, um, have been used for thousands and thousands of years by Aboriginal people. And they're really important as part of their dream time stories and as a bush tucker as well. And they use it for a lot of different ailments from boils to coughs and colds, as well as using the bark on the tree as well. And this is way before medical science and research was around. So there is something in this plum. Now, what has been shown is that it's really, really high in lipophilic and hypophilic antioxidants. And this is quite a unique combination for these two things to be in the one food source. As well as that, it also has a lot of antibacterial, antiviral, um, antimicrobial, anti-carcinogenic properties as well. And that's due to all the really high antioxidants in it. To top that off as well, it's got about 50 other identifiable nutritional um, qualities as well and that's only the ones that they've identified so there could be many many more that haven't been identified as well now let's get down to how much vitamin C it's got in it so for about 100 grams of kakadu plum it has in between well on average it's about 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C so for 100 grams of freeze-dried kakadu plum it has about 3,000 milligrams of vitamin C on average. That is phenomenal. But it can range from about a thousand milligrams to about 5,000 milligrams. So, and that will depend on the fruit at the time that it's picked and how it's freeze dried and all the rest of it. But for me, I find that it really, really has been helping. My iron, I got tested last week and it is the highest it has been um, since I've started having my iron taken and recorded regularly. So at least in the last three or four years, my iron levels are good. Um, whether that be down to just the kakadu plum and the iron quality that I'm taking in, I'm not too sure. As well as that, I had a really nasty virus last week. Uh, well, about three weeks ago. And it finished just last week. But I could feel that taking this kakadu plum every single day started to lower my symptoms quite quite quickly. So if you're having even like just fluey, coldy stuff, kakadu plum is great because vitamin C is a really, really good nutrient to have whilst fighting infections and it will help support your immune system as well. So if you have the chance to get some kakadu plum, I'd go for it. Anyway, thanks guys for watching and my new video will come soon. And if you'd like, you can subscribe up here. Bye.